getting one of my favorite banners up here. On this side, the, it says, Fear God, because the fear of the Lord is indeed the beginning of wisdom. And there is no fear of God here at the University of Central Arkansas. So we're here to tell them that God is a holy God and they need to fear him. And the other side is, ask me why you deserve hell. And that's the question of the day, boys and girls, at the University of Central Arkansas. Ask me why you deserve hell. Think about it. Thine eyes shall behold strange women. You know, and she wanted to have an open mind. She's a great lady. Chapter 3, verses 14 and 15. God Almighty. And because of that, we all deserve hell. Okay, if you are a high school student, do not enroll in this hellhole. This is a poor house. Girls, your daddy's princess. Don't come here and become the whore of a fraternity boy. These fraternity boys just want to do nasty, naughty things with you girls. Find a Christian college to go to. And you boys, women, guard your anus as there's no more Santa. Guard your anus. Boys, homo alert. Homo alert. Your anus is not safe. But here at the University of Central Arkansas. This is Ezekiel, I think it's chapter 22, where it, you see you know, going home and masturbating. Ew. Oh, yeah. Okay. But you, you were nice, nice. I'd like to. Okay, you're going to get married. And you're going to stand before the altar, and the minister's going to say, you're going to have a beautiful bride, right? And the minister's going to say, Justin, will you be true only to this woman? Will you forsake all others? And be true only to her. Yeah, because what I are you going to say? You're not going to say, well, I'll try. You're not no, going to say, I, I you're not going to say, I nobody's will, faithful to your wife, right? You. You're not saying, I'll try. You're saying, I will. Yeah. So uh, God is calling you to the same faithfulness to Him. But, not, but I'll try to be it. faithful. Yes, Jesus. I love you. I will, you. I will obey you. Maybe I'll be able to find a godly have man. You tried, have you tried looking at a church? Oh, uh, let me tell you There's my list. Of godly man, oh my God. Let me tell you my list. Are you guys ready? Because maybe you haven't seen a godly woman before. Maybe you don't know what a godly woman is looking for. Okay. okay, so number one for my husband, my future husband, is an environment. Thank you, thank you, sir. Okay, uh, number one for my requirement for getting married to me, the man I marry must not watch porn. What we do with our bodies, you know, when it's sinful. We're using the body that God gave us that really doesn't belong to Him. That doesn't belong, that doesn't belong, that doesn't belong to Him. Yeah. That we're using it selfishly instead of benevolently, lovingly. That's what it means. We're, we're abusing what you one of the gifts of life. And I used to get down and dirty, but so hardy. Okay, 
This was a good ending of the day because I had a stage five crowd. But earlier, I was rather uh, disappointed about the day. The students were very frivolous, especially the stint I took and rowdy and hard to get any point across. But at the end, uh, I was able to reason with a number of students and give a reason for the hope that is in me. So it ended on a very successful note. Yes, yeah, so we, I had a really great day today. They seemed really calm at the end of the day. Towards the middle of the day, I was talking to some Chi Alpha, the Chi Alpha group, and they asked me my testimony, so I was able to share my entire testimony. And I said, do you know why I was so wimpy, why I couldn't share the gospel? And like, they had no answer. Like, no, why? And I said, it's because we had sin in our life. And then someone read the first John 1, 8, and the... Romans 7, and, so, and I'm like, you guys are defending sin, that's disgusting. So then they all kind of scattered, and they couldn't handle, you know. And I said, God will say, depart from me, you worker of iniquity, you know, into everlasting fire. That's what I told them at the very end. But at the, uh, at the very end of the meeting, in the little chapel that I was speaking at, and then at the very end of the day, I said, are any of you from divorced families? There's this little group of people. And yeah, they all came over to me and said, yeah, my mom's divorced, the one dressed in modestly. And then we got talking about um, suicide, and one of the girls had committed suicide several times and was in a really abusive relationship where her boyfriend would say, God doesn't exist. And every time he said that, he would hit her hand, and she was cutting herself, so it would reopen the wounds. I think it was, it was such a... She was, like, so destroyed with pain, and so I was able to pray with her. Her name was Zoe. So I think it was a beautiful end to the day because they stayed and wanted to hear the truth. So it was such a wonderful day. Yeah, yeah so uh, the Chi Alpha leader I was talking to at, at the uh, middle of the day, I went into the little church and I talked to him and he said, I said if you're encouraging any of these students you know, to sin or like that you can't be free from your sin, it'd be better if a millstone was tied around your neck and thrown into the sea. And he looked straight at me and said, tie the millstone around my neck. Like, then I was harsh on him, and I said, God will say turn. to you, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never even knew you. So that's what I said to him.